everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alison Weston and today I'm going to paint a oil painting. I usually paint digitally, but I wanted to bring to a physical form my paintings. So this will be my first oil painting in Maya style. I'm going to be showing you a few of my digital paintings so that you see my style and see the style that I'm going to be using in this painting. If you want to see more of my paintings, you can go to my Instagram, Alice and Glaston, and you can follow me to always see my paintings when I post them. To paint in my style, I need something that will leave the brush strokes really fine and constant and after searching and trying different brushes and applicator bottles, I found some bottles with a needle tip which left the brush strokes like in my digital paintings and that is what I'm gonna be using in this painting. I didn't have more bottle applicators so I had to figure out how to put the blue in that little bottle and I finished with all my hands blue but I could finally put all the paint in there. So let's start painting! This first painting I wanted to be something that I wanted to paint since a long time ago that I had tried to paint digitally but I never liked how it looked so now I wanted to try it in this painting. This painting is based in a scene that's seen from my window. From my window you can see a road with a lot of street lights and trees and buildings. I mainly use three different paint colors, red, blue and yellow. I always paint first using the color red, which would be like the base of the painting where I will later include the shadows and the lights in colors blue and yellow. The next color that I used was the color yellow to give a little bit of light to the painting. As you can see, all of my paintings are night scenes, so most of the time the the light sources come from lamps, like in this painting. After I know where the light comes from, I start thinking about what places can the light reach and I paint those places in yellow too. In this case, I painted the top of the trees, that's where the light hits directly. I also added light to the trees that are like in the corners of the painting so you're like seeing the scene from a top view between two trees like if you were in a tall building The blue color was kind of similar to the background, but it gave a little bit of something and the painting looked fuller. In this painting, you can see that there's light in the street, in the road, in the trees, and you can see there's light also at the back that I added later because the light can go through the leaves of the trees, also between the trees, and it can reach the sidewalk and also some parts of the, the walls of the buildings. I also go back and forth between the colors to fill in stuff that I didn't at first. As I progress, I come back to add details to the painting in different colors.
the last step is to use the color blue for the shadows. As you can see, the blue was used in the trees and in the buildings. After I finished with the color blue, I looked at the painting and thought it looked a little bit flat so I decided to mix colors to create the color pink to paint some flowers on top of the trees so it will give a little bit of something and the painting will look more fuller and nice and beautiful. And this is the final result. Please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!